Although cheap compared to many other house troops, at five points, the Cave Dweller Savages are an elite option for the Free Folk Hordes. Now, with a movement speed of six, they're gonna be able to get up the battlefield quickly, either maneuvering a position to get flanks and support your troops, or to claim objective tokens early on. With a morale of four plus, um, this is a, a really strong morale unit, uh, considering the Free Folk's baseline morale of eight. So these guys are gonna be less susceptible to being panicked off the board by your opponent taking things like the crown tactics slot. Now they hit on the four plus at seven, five, four. Now you might initially say, well this attack value doesn't seem that great. Uh, the spear wives are seven, seven, they don't decay as fast, or man, a lot of their houses might be hitting on elite units would be hitting on like a three plus maybe. Well, they're able to get this basic attack value maximized through their abilities, ruthless savagery. Now, every time this unit attacks, they get to select one of these options. So the first option gives them plus one to hit per destroyed rank of your opponent's unit. So that can get up to two plus. You can never get more than a two plus, so a roll of one will still fail. The second option is your attack gains sundering, much like the Spearwives, but rather than being the crude sundering that the Spearwives have only off a of charge, you can select this option on any attack. Now, what's great about this is if you flank charge or you charge from the rear, it will stack. So right off the bat, if you're charging in on the flank, you're adding minus two to their armor. From the rear, that'll be minus three. And so they're gonna have to punch through some of the heavier armored units that you might face in the battlefield. And you're gonna really have to think about, okay, how can I bog down those units with my other troops, with my raiders, so that this unit can maneuver in position to do that damage. The final option is Vicious, and at the time of making this video, this is the only Free Folk unit with the Vicious keyword. So it's gonna give minus two to your opponent's panic tests. Now there aren't a lot of units right now in the Free Folk options that deal with panic or panic type effects. And this unit, coupled with its attachment, the Free Folk Cave Dweller Alpha, is gonna bring that style of gameplay into your lists. So with the Free Folk Alpha charging and giving a panic token, you could then choose Vicious, forcing your opponent to take wounds based on their failed panic saves. Uh, and this is gonna give you a new way to deal damage that sometimes is gonna be beneficial when you can't push it through on either someone's armor or on other means possible. Now the best thing about Ruthless Savagery is that these three options, you get to pick an additional one of these options per destroyed rank of your opponent's unit. So if you're attacking a unit that has one rank destroyed, you select one of these plus one ability because one of their ranks is destroyed and you can start to stack these options up and be really devastating. You throw in a commander in as well and you can start to have a lot of abilities on one singular unit. Now, it isn't the most resilient, right? It's got a six plus armor save, meaning that if they get hit, archers, bowmen, crossbowmen, cavalry charges, they probably won't stick around. Um, they, they have the morale, but they don't have the armor. So you wanna have these as your, your, your hammer smashing into things that are already bogged down. You will wanna protect them a little bit as you go which makes me think about attachments. So the Cave Dweller Alpha is a natural inclusion with this unit. It gives out a panic token, which lets you use your vicious ability to its maximum. However, you might also consider the Spearwife Matriarch. Now the Matriarch's great because her order allows, if you've been hit in combat, to then make a free retreat option, which allows this unit to charge in, do some damage, and if the enemy hits back, you can disengage, putting yourself in a position to charge again, but also to avoid maybe a counter charge or being attacked again with the attack zone option. So you're gonna wanna be careful of jumping in and out of combat with this unit, positioning it to maximize its damage always and avoid being hit back and whittled down too much. This is exactly the unit I've been waiting for for my free folk. Uh, right now I've been in situations where a lot of games where I'm getting my opponents down to their last rank but I just can't finish them off. This is the complete solution to that problem. So check out our sample list below at a Song of Ice and Fire CC.com, the website we run for the competitive community for a Song of Ice and Fire. Also check out our podcast, On the Table Gaming, and I hope you get your miniatures on the table.